All right then, my friends. So we have our tabs sorted now. I want to move on to the next section and talk about forms because we're going to place a little contact form down here and some dummy text on the left over here. So before we start on the form, let's just do that dummy text first of all. So let's skew right down here to the bottom where we have this stuff right here, this dummy content at the minute. To begin with, I'm just going to get rid of all that. And then instead, I'm going to replace this with a section tag. And that's going to have a class of section and also container. And I will give this an ID as well. And that ID is going to be contact. OK, so by the way, these IDs right here, these are just descriptive IDs that I've applied to these sections. I've done it for the other two as well, just to say what's going in this section. We don't need these for any kind of stylistic purposes just yet. Anyway, inside here, we want to create, first of all, the stuff on the left. So let's create a div with a class of row, first of all, and then inside a div for that stuff on the left. So that's going to have a class of col. Then we'll say S12, so 12 columns of width for small screens. Then L5, so large screens and up, five columns in width. All right, so we'll do an H2. And again, this is going to have indigo hyphen text. We're also going to darken that by saying text hyphen darken hyphen four. And we'll leave it at that for now. We'll say get in touch. And then underneath that, we need to do a P tag. And I'm just going to paste this lorem ipsum in. So I'll do another one. Paste that in and then I'll do maybe another two. Oops. P and one more. OK, so we have that dummy text now on the left. And if we preview it, it should look OK. Get in touch. Yep. OK, minus that rogue V at the end should be lorem ipsum. All right. So that looks OK now. We've got that on the left. So we want to make this form now on the right. So we'll need to create another div to surround that. So we'll say div, then we'll give this a class of col, then S12, so 12 columns in width on mobile screens, small screens. Then we'll say dot L5 to say five columns in width on large screens. Then what we're going to do is offset this by two because we have five columns of width here, five columns of width here, which means there's two remaining. We'll offset this by two, so there's a two column gap in the middle. So we'll say offset. And then hyphen L for large screens, two. All right, then. So now inside this div, we want our form. So let's do a form tag first of all. OK, so when we're creating different input fields in Materialize, it's always a good idea to put each input field in its own containing div. And that div should have a class of input field. So for example, if we have a name field, we place that inside a div with a class of input field. If we have a text area, we do the same thing. OK, so let's create then a div for each different field. So div dot input field. And this is going to be, first of all, for the email address. So then what I'd like to do is an input, first of all, and the type is going to be email. And the ID of this is going to be equal to email. OK, again, we don't need the ID to be email. This can be whatever you want. The type is just the type of input field. Now, in Materialize, if you want it to look the way it's meant to, we have to place our labels below the inputs. So we'll do a label here, and it's going to be for the email, which matches up to the ID right here. And then we'll also say in the label, your email. All right, so if we save that and preview it, check this out. We can see that little placeholder there, your email. That's the label. But when we click on it, it does that little animation and scoots above it, which is really, really nice. So that's the email field sorted. Next, what I'd like to do is a text area. So again, we'll do another div with a class of input field. And then inside that, this time, we want to do a text area. And the name of this doesn't really matter. I'll get rid of that. The ID is going to be message, since we're sending someone a message here, I guess. And we also need to give this a class equal to materialize hyphen text area. OK, then, so that's the text area. We don't need these things in at the minute. We'll take those out. And underneath that, we'll do our label, which is going to be for the message ID. Remember, this ID is called message, the same as for. 
and then over here we'll say your message. Okay, so let's preview that in a browser. Now we can see your message as well as the email. Cool. Now, what would be nice is to have a little icon over here, say some kind of mail icon, and then over here, some kind of content icon, like a message. So we can do that using material icons. So let's go into the first one, first of all, do i.material hyphen icons, and this is gonna be an email. And then the next one over here, we'll say i.material hyphen icons, then this one is going to be message. All right, so let's preview that first of all. And if we look, it doesn't look completely right. It's kind of sitting over the input fields. All we need to do to rectify that is give this a class of prefix on the icon there and a class of prefix on the icon there. And that knows now to prefix these icons before the input field itself. So if we take a look now, we can see that looks a lot better. And if we click on one, it goes the same color as this thing over here. So that's pretty awesome, right? So there we go, that's our form started. We've done the first two fields. I'm gonna break there because I don't wanna bore you for too long. And in the next video, we're gonna finish the form and we're gonna look at a date picker and we're also gonna look at checkboxes.